All right, that was a great new piece called Device Advice from the Wilkinson Public Library. We're looking forward to a whole bunch more from them this summer. Right now, I'm with Chris Van from the Michael D. Palm Theater and the Bob which is lovely. We're excited to have you. I'm excited to be here, Lindsay. Thank Thanks you so for coming. much. Yeah, Great. So this is the first pro summer of programming for the Bob. It is. Which has been open for a year and a half? A little, a little bit, bit around there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us a bit about what you're starting with with the Bob. Well, we're, we're excited about the summer series that we have. We're doing the inaugural uh, Telluride Jazz Summer Series. Uh, it starts June 15th and 16th with Invisible Bird, uh, which is led by uh, legendary composer and drummer uh, Scott Amendola. Mm -hmm. So he's got an all-star group coming in, uh, and they're going to uh, really take it to the next level for the Bob. It's a, it's a great chance uh, to be up close and personal with, um, with the artist, and I think everybody who's ever been in the Bob knows it's a, it's a sweet space like that. It's an intimate setting. Yeah, very absolutely. Much so different, very different from the Palm. Yes. Uh, in that way. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So you have the jazz series going on June, July, and August this summer. It is June, July, and August, absolutely. Um, and so we have July 6th, we have Annie Booth trio coming in. Um, and she's actually got a couple players behind her who have deep roots to Telluride through the Telluride Jazz All-Stars. Uh, and then August 18th, we have uh, Adam Bodine coming in to finish out the series. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And how about the programming for the Palm this summer? I know you have a lot going on with the Chamber Music Festival, a we couple do. other one-off performances there as well. Well, we're really excited about having Ballet Collective come back. That's a collection of dancers from New York City. Uh, they come in every year and do a full residency here. So they're here for a week, um, experiencing Telluride, what we have to offer. And they rehearse their piece and kind of adjust it to their environment here. Um, and then they'll do a performance on Saturday, July 28th uh, for the public. That's amazing. Yeah, they're it's great. It's always a really special performance yeah, annually. Absolutely. Which is great. Yeah, so tell us a bit about how you got involved with the Palm Theater and uh, how you got your start here in theater in Telluride. Well, I've been out here in the in Colorado for 20 years and in the San Juans for 18 years, uh, which makes me feel kind of old saying that, but uh, no. uh, it's been a great ride. And I've been involved with um, music and nonprofit arts in particular uh, for 14 years now. Um, I was actually managing the Wright Opera House in Uray, which is a historic theater. Um, and I got a call from some of the Palm Arts people saying, would you be interested in coming to work for us? And I, I gave my notice that day, so, and I've been here for a little bit over a year now. So it's, uh, it, it's taken about 35 years of being in the workforce to find a job that I love, um, but I'm very lucky to have found it. It's very special. Thank you. What show are you most excited for this summer? Well, we have a lot of stuff coming up, but I was in New York City uh, in January, and I saw an artist named Tessa Lark at Carnegie Hall. She's an amazing concert violinist. Um, she's young, younger than 30 years old, um, has been playing, obviously, her whole life. Um, and so I was able to reach out to her management when I got back to Telluride um, and just said, this is somebody that we want in Telluride. We want somebody who's young, who's vibrant, who's taking something that, Classical music is, is not really in uh, the mainstream mindset, mm -hmm. uh, but she has a fun, whimsical play on it. Uh, so she's coming in September 18th, and then she'll be doing an in-school performance for the entire Telluride School District student body, um, and plus some other school district children on the 19th, Monday the 19th. That's fantastic. That will also be in the Bob Saunders Theater, so really a chance to get up close and personal with one of the greatest artists in the world right now. Yeah. And it kind of plays on your workshop series as well. Yes. What What are you doing that people should be looking out for that they can get involved in and be a little more hands-on? Well, you know, part of our initiative at, at Palm Arts and for the Palm is to make sure that we're, you know, putting things together that the community can really participate in. Um, for example, we have the Telluride Chamber Music Festival. We'll have a free concert coming up um, on Friday, August 11th. Um, it's a children's concert, uh, a way to get children kind of involved in the music, and that's really what we want to do is see students and student artists involved in the programming. Absolutely. It's very special. Well, Chris, bringing all of the music and entertainment to Telluride this summer, make sure to check out the series coming to the Bob and to the Palm.